Meta has recently unveiled a remarkable AI model known as Code Llama, causing quite a buzz in online conversations. This tool takes coding to a whole new level. Imagine being able to effortlessly create and discuss code through simple text prompts. It surpasses any similar tool we've come across before. In essence, Code Llama is an advanced language model, home specifically for coding tasks. It's an evolution of Meta's versatile Llama 2 model, capable of handling various types of data, including text and images. Code Llama, however, shines when it comes to generating and deliberating on code, whether given in programming syntax or natural language. For instance, you can ask it to concoct a function that produces the Fibonacci sequence or request an explanation for a particular piece of code. It's also adept at aiding with code suggestions and debugging, inserting code snippets into existing scripts or pinpointing errors in your work. What's more, it supports a wide array of the most widely used programming languages like Python, C++, Java, PHP, TypeScript, Bash, and more. Remarkably, it can handle up to 100,000 units of context, making it particularly suited for managing extensive and intricate code bases. This is a substantial leap forward compared to many existing models, which are limited to processing only a few thousand units of information at most. Meta has unveiled the impressive Code Llama, available in three sizes, 7B, 13B, and 34B parameters. Each of these models has been home with a staggering 500 million tokens of code and related data. The larger the model, the more potent its results, albeit at a slower pace. The 7B model operates efficiently on a single GPU, while the 34B model necessitates a supercomputer. The 13B model strikes a balance between the two. Meta doesn't stop there, introducing two specialized variations, Code Llama Python and Code Llama Instruct. Code Llama Python is finely tuned exclusively for Python code tailored for Python developers and learners, given Python's widespread usage and reputation as a benchmark language in the coding community. Meanwhile, Code Llama Instruct excels at comprehending natural language instructions. When presented with a task in plain language, it deftly deciphers your intent and generates the appropriate code. One of Code Llama's standout features is its fill in the middle FIM capability. This enables you to seamlessly insert code into your existing work without the need for wholesale changes. Imagine you've crafted a function to add two numbers, but omitted the crucial step of returning a result. With FIM, Code Llama can swiftly complete this section for you. Now let's weigh Code Llama against its counterparts. Its main rivals are ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot. ChatGPT relies on the robust GPT 3.5 model, while GitHub Copilot leverages the power of Codex for context. Codex, a potent language model from OpenAI, is meticulously trained on code sourced from GitHub. Both ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot excel in generating and discussing code based on text instructions. However, they face constraints. Their context comprehension is capped at 2048 tokens, potentially causing hiccups in larger or more intricate coding projects. They may also, on occasion, produce code that isn't entirely secure or accurate. In terms of performance, Code Llama outshines both in diverse tests. A crucial assessment is the human evil. This test gauges a program's proficiency in writing code based on descriptive annotations known as doc strings. A doc string is akin to a comment elucidating the purpose of a specific function or class in the code. The challenge lies in crafting code that aligns perfectly with that description. On human evil, Code Llama successfully tackles 28.8% of the tasks, while ChatGPT scores 0% and GitHub Copilot accomplishes 11.4%. That's a substantial disparity. Code Llama is also more inclined to furnish accurate and secure responses compared to ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot, thanks to its extensive refinement through human feedback and adversarial testing. What about GPT-4, you ask? While it does hold certain advantages over Code Llama, like the ability to handle visual input and generate more creative content, it doesn't specialize in coding tasks. In fact, on Human Evil, GPT-4 only manages to solve 18.6% of the problems, whereas Code Llama impressively achieves 28.8%. Moreover, Code Llama boasts unique features like FIM capability and instruction fine-tuning, and it's more user-friendly and easily integrated compared to GPT-4, as I'll elaborate on shortly. Allow me to share something intriguing with you, the unnatural Code Llama. This upcoming iteration of Code Llama has been trained on a confidential dataset of unconventional code. This type of code intentionally defies the customary coding norms and best practices, employing tactics like misleading variable names, 
omitting comments or nesting loops excessively deep. Now, you might wonder why anyone would train a model on such peculiar code. The purpose is to fortify the model, enabling it to seamlessly adapt to various coding styles and situations. Moreover, this form of code can serve as a means of obfuscation or encryption, rendering it more challenging for both humans and machines to decipher or reverse engineer. Though still in the developmental stages, some leaked results have demonstrated that it can rival the performance of GPT-4 across different benchmarks. For instance, it can excel in a simulated bar exam, outperforming approximately 90% of test takers, while GPT-4 lags behind, ranking in the bottom 10%. Additionally, it has the capability to generate code that mirrors that of a human expert. The unnatural code llama is generating quite a buzz on social media, capturing the curiosity and excitement of many. But before we move further, if you're enjoying it so far, make sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest tech-related videos. Now let's discuss how you can access Code Llama. The good news is that it is readily available through the Perplexity AI Labs website, where you can engage with Code Llama via a user-friendly web interface. You can also experiment with the Code Llama Model 13B in the Code Llama Playground on Hugging Face. Returning to the advantages of opting for Code Llama over GPT-4, in terms of accessibility and implementation, there are several notable benefits. Firstly, Code Llama can operate on local machines, negating the need for cloud-based servers as required by GPT-4. Furthermore, Code Llama does not come with any subscription models or usage limitations in stark contrast to GPT-4. You are free to utilize Code Llama to your heart's content without incurring any additional costs or being constrained by quotas or tiers. Additionally, you can put aside any potential ethical or legal concerns that might arise from utilizing gpt 4s cloud-based mechanism. Let's dive into the intriguing world of Code Llama and its potential impact on the coding community. This innovative tool stands poised to revolutionize the coding experience for enthusiasts of all proficiency levels and across diverse domains. It facilitates swift code composition, aids in comprehending complex algorithms, and fosters collaborative discussions on code intricacies. However, it's not without its quirks. Code Llama may encounter challenges with unconventional scenarios or novel programming languages and may grapple with legal intricacies such as copyright infringement. Moreover, it faces competition from formidable contenders like GPT-4 and specialized coding tools tailored for specific tasks. To maintain its relevance, ongoing evolution is imperative. Enter Meta, already at work on enhancements like Unnatural Code Llama and the integration of image inputs. For a deeper dive into Code Llama's capabilities, I recommend perusing their blog post for illuminating examples and insights. What are your thoughts on this? Let me go down in the comments below. And if you want to see more tech-related videos like this one, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you never miss out on our upcoming videos. And just before you leave, check out these videos.